You have probably heard this a hundred times. Electric cars are saving the planet. But what if I told you that behind every so-called green EV is a hidden trail of pollution, child labor, and toxic waste? Electric cars have their benefits. No tailpipe emissions means no smog, no carbon dioxide from the exhaust, and cleaner air in our cities. They are energy efficient too, converting about 90% of energy to motion, while petrol engines waste more than half as heat. Sounds amazing, right? But now, here comes the twist. Producing an electric car is anything but clean, especially the batteries. They require lithium, cobalt, and nickel, which come at a huge cost. Lithium mining drains millions of liters of water, especially in dry regions like South America. Cobalt? 70% comes from the Democratic Republic of Congo, where reports of child labor and unsafe mines are rampant. So while your EV may look futuristic, it could be powered by a very dark supply chain. EVs do not emit carbon dioxide when driven, but what about when they are charged? In many countries, including India and China, the power grid still runs mostly on coal. So, charging an EV could just mean shifting pollution from your tailpipe to a smokestack. Studies show that in coal-heavy countries, an EV's carbon footprint is not much better than a hybrid. Then there is the end-of-life question. What happens when your EV battery dies? Most lithium-ion batteries are not recycled. They are landfilled or burned. That is toxic waste we are dumping into the planet. Battery recycling technology is still young, expensive and not widely adopted. The result? We are creating a future e-waste crisis. Despite the dark side, EVs are still better than petrol cars in the long run. Over time, and powered by renewables, they produce less pollution. The real challenge is cleaning up the entire ecosystem. Green power, sustainable mining, efficient recycling. Electric cars are not perfect, but they are a step, not the solution. Want to hear the truth behind more green tech hype? Hit like, subscribe and tell us. Would you buy an EV after hearing this? Drop your thoughts in the comments.